when Trolls, Merck and I decided that we wanted to have a, a chamber music festival, there wasn't actually any such festival in Norway at the time. And we were inspired by, by some other festivals out in Europe that we had attended. And we wanted to make a festival that was for musicians, by musicians in a way. And so we were quite idealistic about it. And, and we approached various places in Norway with the idea of having the festival there. And Stavanger responded in, in a way that made it very easy to say this is the right place. And we felt also that Stavanger with an international environment, with, with the beautiful surroundings, and also being a city of a, quite a big size, you know, had the, had the base that we needed for a successful festival. And we thought right from the beginning that this was a festival that should last for a long time. Ska det upp vara på det första för att ta? Ja. Och så ska det stå. Det ska in och så in så med den här. When they asked me if I would like to be the artistic director of Stavanger Festival, um, I already had my own festival in Sweden called Winterfest. So I actually say, they said no uh, in the beginning because I just know how much work it is to to run a festival. Uh, but then I, I thought if I could do it with someone uh, that I really trust, then it would be possible. And now, in the same time, I think they asked Christian the same question, if he could be <laughs> the artistic leader of Estavanger Festival. And he said exactly the same. So it was sort of a very clever way of asking people uh, in the same time without knowing of each other, or we know of each other, but we didn't know that we had the same question. 
So I said that I could do it, but I need another person. And uh, so and then they got, you got the same question. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but unlike Martin, I replied yes without, you know, even hesitating. Uh, but it's right, I said also that I would like to bring in a person that actually has done this before, uh, who has some festival experience, uh, you know, an international network, and that maybe also is older than me. And so a few weeks later they called me and said that, well, we have asked Martin Frest and he is very interested. And, well, I mean, I had already said yes to do this, but then I was, you know, even more delighted to be asked.
there are, for me, two very important things one has to think about when making a program. The first, and maybe the most important, is that this is actually a concert that I would like to go to myself, which is something I always think about uh, when I put down the program. And second, it's also very important to have some, how should I say, blockbuster pieces. Uh, because then people will have something they might are familiar with, uh, and that will again allow them to feel a little bit more risky and take chances and go to a concert where they might even haven't heard even of the composer. It's good to find some way between, you know, the safe and what is, could be a little bit, well, of course, not scary, but challenging to the audience. Because to do just one of the things, I find a little bit boring, actually. It's, everything just seems to be going really, really smooth. And when that happens, it's because the volunteers have already done everything that is needed. Yeah. And you don't yeah. actually notice uh, all the work behind it. would like to do something to um, to attract some more young people to come to the concert because I think there is a potential in the city with so incredibly many young people and also it's a big city for students and it really is no reason why these people should not come um, come to the concerts. <laughs>
meetings in the later nights, what we now uh, call the Frost and Friends, and also Christine's, Christine's Corner, Corner mm -hmm. uh, seems to be very successful and, and, and a very nice thing to, to also to connect more with the audience. One other important thing with Chamber Music Festival, if you call it Chamber Music Festival, is to have small venues, mm -hmm. I mean, not only uh, bigger arenas. have to compose good programs, you also need to compose very good ensembles for each piece. I mean, who will actually play this kind of music very well and with whom will this person interact at its best?
you know, putting together a football team, there is a lot of uh, psychology team. in this. And you, you really need to, well, these two, who is playing what, and who will they play with to, you know, get the maximum out of their potential. In the beginning when we had this festival, it was our festival. It belonged to Trulls and myself and it, it, it was our baby. But today this is a festival that I feel very strongly belongs to Stavanger. And I think that development, that transition is very important for anything that wants to grow and have a long life.
Thank you. 